to Pull My Focus Adventures of the World of Digital Filmmaking. I'm Manu. No, I am not using a plugin from Red Giant Universe or any other kind of plugins right now. What you are looking at is me shooting my video with a Sony Digital 8 camera. This is a camera that's similar to technology that I would have used in the 90s to shoot some of my higher resolution stuff. But not only am I shooting on a digital 8 camera, I'm also shooting on my Sony 4K that I would use today. <laughs> the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to be looking at, for the first time, not for the first time, well, really for the first time, the Topaz Video AI software in its 4.0 version. I've used it a little bit in the 3.0 version. I've used it for some client work. It's amazing, but I just wanted to do a little fun thing where I purposefully shot on older technology to see, can I bring this older tech a little bit close to new tech? So uh, without further ado, without further ado, let's see if this stuff actually works as well as they say it does. Now here, full disclosure, I just wanna say this. This is not the use case, the best use case for this software, okay? I'm kind of poking fun and, you know, having a little bit of fun here, but taking high eight footage from the 1990s and upscaling it to 4K, probably not what you want to do with the software. First of all, software is not cheap. Second of all, it uses AI, so it needs some information there already. There's not much information in what I'm going to be doing, but let's just take a quick look and just goof around a little bit. So here we are in Topaz Video AI. I'm gonna hit browse and let's go to my Hi8 directory and just grab something from here. Um, now, like I said, this is not the, this is not the scenario you kind of want to be in, right? <laughs> this footage is, has got probably as good as it's gonna get. And I see, let's grab, there are some things that Topaz Video AI can probably do, but let's grab, let's see, it's going in, scroll a little bit to where I come up to the screen. Not the crotch view, you don't need the crotch view. So what we're gonna do is set up some presets here. Let's see, let's, let's try and upscale this to uh, HD. All right, output resolution frames looks good. Stabilization, motion de-blur, frame interpolation. All that is AI uh, enhanced. Can you enhance it right here? Can you enhance it? Can you enhance it? Can we enhance this? So all that will get some benefit from uh, AI. All right, so after a few attempts at doing stuff here, I actually did a, get a little bit of improvement. I ended up using the uh, upscale to HD resolution with interlace progressive as a video type and AI model as Iris LQ. And what's interesting is that it did manage to smooth out some features from the older video. Um, but once again, look at that. How amazing, <laughs> holy smokes. <laughs> Dude, that is insane for a video camera from the 90s. That is just freaky. All right, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm losing my mind right now, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> How good is that, kids? So, uh, not exactly a magic bullet, but if you play around with it a little bit, you could get some pretty decent results. I'm using a hi eight camera from the 90s. All right, but seriously, there are other reasons besides the insanity of that uh, to use Video Topaz, Topaz Video AI. Another reason is if you're starting with pretty decent video, there we go, we did a, we're Courtney doing a serial commercial for us. Okay, and here's the serial commercial. You can go and check out, uh, there's, a, there's a link in the description to go check out that video. It was a lot of fun to do. But it was shot, we didn't shoot it in 4K. We shot it with a Canon C100, which is a very, very good camera. But if you wanna put this out now, it's gotta be 4K, right? Well, we can't go back and shoot this again. So here's what, we, here's what I did. Uh, I went in to Topaz Video AI and scanned it up. So let's take a look. All right, let's do this. Let's set a preview here. Okay, so I'm gonna, we're gonna go from HD. We're gonna use a preset here called Upscale to 4K. 
and I'm gonna leave it pretty much alone. Stabilization, motion deblur, all these things use AI, which is amazing. Enhancements and everything. Enhance. But I'm gonna use it, leave it pretty much alone and let it do a nice, let's do a five second preview because 4K takes a little bit, takes a little while to, to generate. And now through the power of editing, it is done. It took only about a minute and change. This is a, uh, uh, an M1 Max Studio, which is a regular M1. But if we start to zoom in, we can see that it is much, much better. Okay, I don't know if the YouTube uh, rendering of this video is gonna help much, but if you look, wow, the detail, the eyes are smoothed out, the roughness of the, of the, this is basically 1080 kind of crunching a little bit and kind of dying, even though it's an amazing camera and amazing everything. But the results here, and this is just me clicking a button. If you dial in and start playing with the different, the Iris models and the different models that are in Topaz Video AI, it gets insane. So here we go. We have now upscaled this to 4K and it looks, it looks beautiful. So we've had situations where we've, we've gotten footage to edit and the A-roll footage is beautiful 4K. And then the B-roll footage, they shot on a DSLR and not even with a gimbal. So how do you make that 4K look like, how do you make that DSLR footage look like a 4K? Topaz Video AI saved our butts and turned that okay footage into amazing footage. The last thing I wanna tell you about is the ability to do slow-mo. Now this is a game changer. Topaz AI's ability to take uh, 30 frames per second footage and turn it into slow-mo footage is, is unparalleled. Now you can do this in Premiere Pro, but I've seen kind of, uh, I don't know, the results using optical flow and it's uh, frame interpolation and Premiere can only carry you but so far. Let's see how amazing it is in Topaz AI when they have AI and stuff to work with. So what I'm gonna do is we've got, I've got some footage of a pinball machine that we shot uh, a while ago for a thing that we did. And we're gonna say 4K slow down, um, keeping the same resolution and the same frame, well, not the same frame rate, but the same resolution and whatnot. Uh, let's do a preview and find out how good this looks. That took about a minute. Let's take a look at what Topaz AI can generate. Wow. That is amazing. <laughs> that is just stunning. There's a, there's a few hiccups here and there, but if you're looking for a better way, if you're looking for a better way to do slow motion and you're trying to find a better solution than Premiere's optical flow? Wow, that is, that's, that's insane. So those are all examples of why Topaz Video AI is amazing and a little scary for uh, uh, videographers and such. Some, you may not have to even use a gimbal nowadays because it does have a lot of neat features like stabilization and motion to blur. Sometimes if your footage is a little uh, uh, soft focus, as opposed to going in and sharpening, you could probably ask Topaz AI to enhance it for you, I think. Enhance. Not a sponsor, but amazing pro an amazing product that we use. It's not cheap. I think it's around two, $300. You need to check uh, the, the, the website right now. But um, so for casual YouTubers, maybe not, but for people in the industry, keep your eye out on this company because they are really doing some amazing things. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure to check out pullmyfocus.tv for all of our other content, videos, blogs, whatever. Tell your friends, spread the word, help us with the YouTube algorithm to bring our numbers back up because this is insane. But anyway, we're still having fun doing what we do. So 
Thanks a lot for sticking around, and I'll see you next time. From the future, or the past, future past.